Donna ISD community. As we approach the Thanksgiving holiday, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude and appreciation for the Donna ISD family. It's been a little over a month since I joined this team, and I am thrilled to be a part of the family that I have been embraced by here in Donna, Texas. I am thankful to our board of trustees, to our students, to our staff, and to our community for the welcome that I have received since I arrived here. It is clear that the Donna ISD family is focused on students first, and as we move into this holiday season, we have much to be grateful for. Let me begin by telling you how proud I am of our students and how far they've come since the start of the school year. I have seen firsthand their excitement, passion, and drive as they continue to excel in academics, extracurricular activities, and career and technical programs. First, I would like to acknowledge our Donna High and Donna North High School cross-country teams for competing at the UIL Region 4 Cross-Country Championships in Corpus Christi. Donna High School senior Kevin Hernandez did exceptionally well. For the second year in a row, Kevin advanced to state, placing 15th out of 152 runners. Great job, Kevin. I would also like to recognize both of our high school marching bands for earning a Division I superior rating at the annual UIL Pigskin Jubilee Marching Band Competition and for their outstanding performance at the Region 28 Area G Contest. I am so proud of these students for their hard work and dedication in reaching this level of competition. Students in our career and technical programs are also making big strides. For the first time in Donna ISD history, five Donna North seniors will be certified in four different areas within the CTE medical program at the end of this school year. These young ladies will have received their certification in EKG, phlebotomy, clinical medical assistant, and basic life support when they graduate. We are also excited to offer a new certification to high school students enrolled in our business marketing and finance program. It's called Google Analytics Individual Qualification, and it teaches students advanced Google Analytics concepts to prepare them for the business world. At the administrative level, we celebrated the 60th anniversary of the 1961 Donna Redskins State Football Championship. Members of the team from close and afar joined us for several activities in their honor. These men accomplished something that no other Rio Grande Valley football team has ever done, and that's winning the state championship title. To this day, we are incredibly proud of what these players accomplished six decades ago. In the midst of this prestigious celebration, we also launched a Look, Listen, and Learn tour in an effort to help me learn more about the district and where we stand. Numerous sessions were held at different campuses to allow teachers, staff, parents, and community members the opportunity to engage with the administration and discuss ways in which to achieve higher levels of excellence for Donna ISD. Our last session will be held Thursday, November 18th at Veterans Middle School. On another note, I'm also visiting schools and district buildings to get a better idea of the needs of our facilities. It is important to me that we maintain safe facilities for our students and staff and plan for improvements, future infrastructure, and academic growth. With the safety and well-being of our students and staff as a top priority, the district will continue to hold vaccination clinics throughout the school year for our Donna ISD family. Our latest clinic took place November 16th, where we made vaccines available to staff and students five years old and up. In closing, I would like to reiterate how grateful I am to be here in Donna ISD. Thank you to our staff, to our community. It is the result of caring adults that our students have been able to accomplish so many great things this fall. We appreciate you and your time and the investment from your family as you commit to our students on a daily basis. I'd like to thank our Board of Trustees for their continued focus on student outcomes. This bleeds through in all of the work that we do in Donna ISD. This family is all about kids. So go at this time, enjoy your Thanksgiving break, spend some time with your family, reflect and rejuvenate. We look forward to seeing you back after a week of rest and gratitude. At this time, we'll have some opportunities to hear from others about what they're grateful for as we move into the holiday season. I'm thankful to be healthy here on campus with my students, watching them learn, socialize, and become more independent after such a hard year we've all had to endure. 
I am so thankful to be able to have my students back in my classroom where I can hopefully make an impact on their education and on their lives on a daily basis. I am thankful for my family, my friends, my classmates, everything that I have. I just feel grateful for everything. I am thankful for my family. Thankful for getting this job here at Stanky Elementary, first year teacher. I am thankful for my family, for my children, for my husband, for my Solis family, and for the children that are safe back at school. I'm thankful for my family, my teachers, and the staff that is involved in the school that I go to. And I'm thankful for the education that they're able to provide for me and help me develop into a better person when I grow up.